Maternal and infant health inequalities and disparities are serious public health concerns that have various social and economic implications. Factors such as social economic status, education level, discrimination, environments, and access to care influences the health disparities such as low birth weight and infant mortality. To prevent these outcomes, having a healthy pregnancy is just one of the ways to aid in having a healthy birth and baby. This includes mothers having early access to regular prenatal care. Our group has decided to investigate the health disparity of inadequate prenatal care by studying Coffee County, Georgia. Coffee County ranks really low in prenatal care birth outcomes and derives from racial inequalities. To gain a further understanding on how health affects the health disparity, we analyze the history of the county, address the contributing factors such as access to care and environmental factors, and offered suggestions on how to address this issue by applying the social ecological model. Low birth weight is a term used to describe babies that are born weighing less than 2,500 grams or 8 ounces, while the average newborn weighs around 8 pounds. Over 8% of babies born in the United States have low birth weight, and the highest rates of low birth weight tend to occur in the southeastern region. The state of Georgia, which has some of the highest rates in the nation, has a rate of 9.5%. And much like the rest of the country, in the state of Georgia, African American women are disproportionately affected by low birth weight. So in 2008, the Georgia Department of Public Health released a report called the Minority Health Disparity Report, in which they graded each of Georgia's 159 counties on minority health outcomes such as social and economic indicators, uh, mortality, and primary care access. Now, Coffee County, which is actually located in the southeastern portion of Georgia, received a failing grade in the area of prenatal care and birth outcomes related to low birth weight. Now, the rate of low birth weight in Coffee County is only 7.3%, which means it's less than the rate for um, the United States and less than the rate in Georgia as a whole. However, it's important to look at the rates of low birth weight in Coffee County because African American women, again, are disproportionately affected. In fact, the rate is 16.6% in African American women, while the national rate of low birth weight in African American women is 13%. Now, you may be asking yourself, why, why are the rates so different for African American women in Coffee County? Research suggests that it may have something to do with high racial inequality in Coffee County. Coffee County, created in 1854, was originally inhabited by Creek Indians, but after many local wars between the Indians and those who settled there, the Creek Indians were removed from the area. The county attracted many white settlers in the early 19th century due to the area's large amount of game, rivers, woods, and wildlife. Throughout the years, social change and economic prosperity came for white inhabitants as churches, schools, and roads were built, along with plantations that grow cotton and tobacco cultivation through slave labor. In present day, the county is predominantly white and its history of unfairly treating minorities and not tending to the needs of its small but present minority population may affect the availability of minorities in the area have to prenatal care. Coffee County's only services for prenatal care are located in Douglas, Georgia. The county only has one hospital, which is the Coffee Regional Medical Center, a health department, and only one women, infants, and children supplemental nutrition program building. It may be difficult for those individuals who do not live in Douglas, Georgia to access these services due to the distance. The Georgia Department of Public Health assessed Coffee County's prenatal care and birth outcomes and gave the county a D-plus grade, meaning they have poor outcomes that are made worse by moderately high racial inequality. The low access to prenatal services may be a factor in the low grade the county received. Coffee County, created in 1854, was originally inhabited by Creek Indians, but after many local... When addressing the issue of prenatal care in Coffee County, the socio-ecological model is key to understanding the barriers and proposing solutions for families with low income. This model involves the societal, community, 
relationship aspects and their influences on the decisions and lifestyles of an individual. Therefore, the application of this model for increasing prenatal care in Coffee County is ideal. However, for the application to be successful, there are certain barriers that must be recognized and addressed. These barriers consist of presentation of services, fragmentation of care, inconvenient clinic hours, lack of transportation, and child care problems. Therefore, to counteract some of these barriers in Coffee County, it is imperative that policies are implemented in the community level. Studies have shown that pregnant women who choose to opt out of prenatal services slash programs are less likely to receive support from family, friends, and health providers. Additionally, health providers such as nurses are often overworked and understaffed and often rely on the patient to become autonomous when attending and understanding prenatal courses. In response, Coffee County should utilize the pre-existing WIC program employ more nurses, and require nurse home visits to underserved women at risk. During these visits, nurses will be able to provide advice regarding health behaviors, enhanced use of medical care, and other community services that they have access to and don't know about. These, this involvement has been recognized by prior studies to foster empowerment, which contributes to an increased self-esteem, reduced anxiety, and improved self-care. Hello, I'm here to deliver the message that when addressing prenatal care, early entry makes sense. Even a 12-year-old gets it. An important aspect when developing a policy to improve pregnancy outcomes is to facilitate early entry into prenatal care. This concept is underlined by Healthy People 2020 that aims for 77.9% percent of women to enter prenatal care in the first trimester by 2020. To achieve this goal, Coffee County can implement a program based on the model of a patient-centered medical home. This framework is a team-based healthcare delivery model led by a healthcare provider that is intended to provide comprehensive and continuous medical care with the goal of maximizing outcomes. Coffee County can implement comprehensive maternity care, including ancillary services like transportation and interpretation. Resources to educate women on the importance of early entry into prenatal care, coordinate, coordinated care, including home visiting programs, behavioral care, or substance abuse treatment. Taking folic acid from early stages of pregnancy helps to develop baby brains. However, using alcohol or smoking during any stages of pregnancy can The value of appropriate prenatal care cannot be overstated. As an emergency room physician, I often see young women who present to the emergency department well advanced in their pregnancies who have not yet sought appropriate prenatal care. We should endeavor as individuals and as a society to promote uh, these young women to seek appropriate prenatal care uh, at every level of their pregnancy. Coffee County, Georgia has a significant population of Spanish-speaking migrant uh, agricultural workers. Uh, many of these workers uh, are young women uh, and a subset of these young women uh, are pregnant. We should seek to uh, promote uh, these young women to seek appropriate prenatal care, as I mentioned, and there are a number of ways that we could do this. Through the local health department in particular, uh, we could provide Spanish language qualified nurses who could interact with the Spanish speaking population in Coffee County and to encourage these young women to seek appropriate prenatal care. Uh, there, 
their Spanish speaking abilities uh, in certain circumstances will help to overcome uh, language and cultural barriers uh, that may stand in the way of these young women seeking appropriate care. In addition, for women who are receiving certain forms of government benefits, uh, there may be some value in tying those benefits or the continued receipt of those benefits to the proper uh, seeking of uh, appropriate prenatal care. Although some may consider this measure somewhat drastic, uh, the value ultimately to the mother and to the developing baby uh, is inestimable. Thank you. From the past to present day, minority residents of Coffee County suffer from many health disparities. Inadequate prenatal care is just one of the many. With a multitude of unpleasant statistics within this community, including high percentages of low birth weights in African Americans and Hispanics, addressing this need is very important. Some of the environmental factors that these women endure to uh, receive care is having a lack of care facilities, but also not having the resources available to them. Due to many of these mothers' socioeconomic status, it, is, it makes it hard for them to overcome many of these barriers that they face when trying to receive care. From my research, we felt the best way to address this need is to ensure care can be provided to everyone in the community. So one way would be to mobilize the services of nurses and doctors and to do home visits um, to make sure that women and children are given the need the care that they need also to encourage the women to use the resources they have available in their community at the policy level we want to encourage individualized care meaning having staff who can relate to the community that they are serving and to create a policy where women are receiving these pre, this prenatal care and in return they can receive their benefits. Prenatal care is key to a baby and a mother's health. By addressing this health disparity of inadequate prenatal care, our hope is to see a decline in this health disparity, but also to see an increase in educated families, healthy babies, and healthy mothers.